थर्टी फाइव फोर मैट्रिक्स एंड द मैट्रिक्स इज हियर इज फोर सिक्स टू टू थ्री वन वन फोर जीरो थ्री सेवन वन नाउ टू फाइंड द रैंक ऑफ मैट्रिक्स वी हैव टू कंसिडर फर्स्ट ऑल थ्री बाई थ्री स्क्वेयर मैट्रिक्स सो फर्स्ट ए वन स्क्वेयर मैट्रिक्स वील कंसिडर दिस फोर टू वन सिक्स थ्री फोर टू वन जीरो नाउ फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिटर्मिनेंट इफ द डिटर्मिनेंट इज जीरो then the, that is not the rank of matrix so first we have to find if determinant is non zero then that square value is your rank of matrix now the determinant of this is 4 into 3 0, 0 minus 4 minus 2 into this 6 into 0 0 minus 8 plus 1 into 6 minus 6 so this value is equal, determinant of a1 is equal to 0 so we will consider the second Three by three matrix two one three three four seven one zero one, which is if you calculate this again, determinant of this again zero. We'll take now third case, third value a three that <coughs> will eliminate the second column four one three six four seven two zero one. If you calculate the determinant of this, it is again zero a four four two three six three seven. Two one one. Here we have eliminated third column, so the again determinant is equal to zero. So we can say all the minors of three by three matrix are zero. So determinant is not equal to three. Sorry, uh, not determinant. Uh, the rank is not equal to three. Now we'll go for the two by two square matrix. So that is the second option. Now we will see here four into four, <coughs> four two six three. So four by three, four into three is twelve minus twelve is equal to zero. We'll take the second two by two, two one three four. Now here the determinant is two four into two eight minus three is equal to five, which is not equal to zero. So we can say here this square matrix, two by two square matrix, the determinant is not equal to zero. So the rank of the this A matrix, three by four matrix. Is equal to two. So this is the first case. This way you can solve the rank of matrix. Another case, if you have one three here, I have taken an, another case to find the rank of matrix. This is another method. First method we have calculated the determinant, but this is the Gauss elimination approach. And such kind of questions will be asked for your gate examination or for another quantitative aptitude examination. Now here is one determinant A. One, uh, sorry, uh, matrix A, one, 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 one minus one, zero, one, one, one. Now, how to find this rank using Gauss elimination approach? So, this is your matrix. Again, write down the same matrix. And here, what the process I have done? R two minus R one divided by R three minus R one. So, this is your R one, R two, and R three. So, first case, first. R one I have written one one one. Now next is R two minus R one. So R two is this one one minus one. We can say here zero. Then minus one minus one minus two zero minus one minus one. So again same R three minus R one one minus one zero one minus one zero one minus one zero. So here this total row is zero and the non-zero Rows are one and two, so this is now equivalent form. And <coughs> here we have to find non-zero rows. So in this case, in our case, non-zero row this is and this second. The third row is now zero rows total. So our rank of matrix is number of non-zero row. So here rank of matrix is equal to two. So this way, by using determinant or by using Gauss elimination approach, you can find. the rank of matrix and this is the simple way to calculate rank of matrix thank you